Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, was shot in an assassination attempt. We have this image on screen for you to show you that Donald Trump is alive. Donald Trump has survived an assassination attempt. I repeat, Donald Trump has survived an assassination attempt. Right now is the image on your screen of Donald Trump. This is real. This image was taken moments ago at a large rally in Butler, Pennsylvania of President Trump. Blood pouring from his face with his fist in the air, defiant and shouting, keep fighting. We have the footage, ladies and gentlemen. We are in a breaking news environment right now. This is all happening from seconds ago. You can see the Secret Service encompassing Donald Trump, surrounding Donald Trump, tackling Donald Trump to the ground is what happened. I wanted to show you these images and start with these images of President Trump. As you can see, he is bleeding from his ear. As you can see, President Trump has blood on his face. Donald Trump has, by the very, by the very best of our ability to gather information and news right now, which is breaking across the world, been shot. Shots rang out. Many shots rang out. We will play you the clip in a moment. We will not play you uh, gr gruesome clips because, uh, according to reports, there are dead bodies now at the scene. Donald Trump has survived. Donald Trump has survived. But Donald Trump has been wounded in an attack. Let's go immediately to the spokesperson for the Secret Service. The Secret Service tackled Donald Trump to the ground. This was just posted seconds ago. An incident occurred on the evening of July 13th at a Trump rally in Pennsylvania. The Secret Service have implemented protective measures of the former president is safe. This is now an active Secret Service investigation. Further information will be released when available. Donald Trump has been shot in Pennsylvania. The Secret Service has confirmed that Secret Service has surrounded Donald Trump and taken protective measures to save his life. A statement from the Trump campaign, ladies and gentlemen, from seconds ago. Let me get through these statements. And I wanted to show you the photos of Donald Trump alive and survived and with his fist in the air and defiant the Trump statement right now. President Trump thanks law enforcement and first responders for their quick action during the heinous act. He is fine, they say. He's being checked out at a local medical facility. More details to follow. A reminder that President Trump travels with a entire medical staff ambulance, uh, large amounts of blood, uh, uh, an entire medical team, a devoted doctor just for President Trump. He is uh, able to be attended to very, very quickly. We are in a breaking news environment. Donald Trump has been shot in Pennsylvania. Here is the clip of the moment. Uh, when Donald, when shots rang out, that is the best way that we can describe them. Forgive us because some reports say that they don't know if it's a shooting just yet, but you can hear clear as a bell what sounds like shots. And of course, you can see Donald Trump bleeding from his face. So he was hit by something. He was hit by some projectile. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about all of it here. Ladies and gentlemen, is the clip. We're going to play a number of these for you. Uh, here we go. This is the moment uh, during the rally when President Trump was shot. You know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go through this clip and we're going to show you what happened to the best of our abilities. This is the clearest footage we have yet. Some of the footage has been grainy and from the audience. You're going to hear right here as Donald Trump is doing his classic Donald Trump riff. Uh, Donald Trump speaking actually about the battle between good and evil here uh, at this rally. This rally is being attended, uh, attended by an enormous amount of people. Uh, we don't have a full number yet, but it was a sea of people as ever with a MAGA rally. 
You can hear the shots ring out right here. We're going to go through this clip frame by frame. Here we go. Charts a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. So you can hear there, and you can see Donald Trump's immediate reaction. Donald Trump's immediate reaction is he reaches for his ear. Donald Trump reaches for his ear, and it looks like he winces here. This is Donald Trump. This is presumably an impact moment uh, when some projectile hit Donald Trump. Now, you can hear also the sound. It, it, anybody who is familiar with firearms knows this sound. This is the very, uh, uh, this is a, a sound that is the concussion of a ballistic. This is a gun. This is somebody is shooting a gun here at Donald Trump. They get off multiple shots. Donald Trump hit in the ear here, and then he gets down, and you can see the matter of time there is exactly one second. And you can see the first Secret Service agent arrives, followed by a, law, a phalanx of Secret Service agents. Let's if watch you, one more uh, time. If you want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Trump goes down, hits the deck, and uh, the reactions from the crowd, as well as Secret Service agents, uh, barrel in. Please watch. <laughs> You can hear multiple shots also being fired here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots. Perhaps one more shot there. The audience screaming. Uh, and now you can see then the tactical team. So you have uh, different levels of Secret Service here. You can see all the Secret Service barrel in on Trump. These are the uh, the suit Secret Service is one branch of the Secret Service. You can see they're represented by this guy right here. I'm going to try my hardest not to uh, jump too quickly here in the clip. But then you can see the tactical Secret Service. These are paramilitary special forces operation that comes rolling through. Are you ready? On you. Ready? Move. Up. Move. Go. Move. Go. Up. Hawkeyes here. Hawkeyes here. Move there we go. See this guy? These are the guys you do not F around with. These are the guys that did multiple tours in Afghanistan, Iraq. These are the guys who are the killers. Uh, this is the paramilitary secret service. You never see them. You see the guys in the, the, the suits with the sunglasses and the earpieces. These are the guys that actually do the business. These guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is one of many clips. Let us continue. But this is the clip. This is the clearest that we have so far. I have our entire production team on hand right now. So tell me, ladies and gentlemen, if we have more, if we have more information, but this is the clearest clip that we have right now of what happened. Now, you are not going to believe what, ha what I'm about to show you next. Your jaw is about to fall onto the ground. Donald Trump uh, was shot by some manner of ballistic. The reason I have to say it like that is because I've been to so many Trump rallies. You have most likely been to a Trump rally. I have great, deep, and abiding respect for the Secret Service, and I am telling you that there is no way that somebody was able to get a firearm into the Trump rally. I do not know how this happened. Listen, when you go to the Trump rally, even when you're an invited guest, I've been backstage, right? When you're an invited guest, you still go through the Secret Service. It doesn't matter. Full on, uh, full on metal detectors, like massive one, not, not the stuff they have at the airport. I mean, you're talking like massive metal detectors. Bags, any bag, no bags are allowed in. But the bags that you do bring in, let's say you're with the media, get sniffed by a dog, get gone through, right? By every, like, it, it, like, it is a deeply sophisticated process. The capacity to bring a firearm in, given the withering conditions, and I've been to hundreds at this point of Trump rallies, hundreds of Trump rallies. We've flown with Trump to Trump rallies. We've been on his plane. We've been backstage with him. We've we've been the guy, uh, We've I've literally been the guy that, that ushers Donald Trump on stage before. We've pretty much done it all. Never, never have I not gone through a 
uh, not only a huge background check, but also a massive personal check of my person uh, anytime I was within, uh, anytime I was close to Donald Trump. So that's why this must be, I don't know what kind of ballistic this is. If you know, sound off in the chat. But this was some type of ballistic. I don't know how they would get a firearm in here. I just had to stop and say my piece there. Uh, we'll have more on that, ladies and gentlemen, in a moment. But here uh, we have the clip of Donald Trump after he had been shot. Here we have the clip of Donald Trump surrounded by the Secret Service, bleeding from his face, uh, cl clearly in a position where he has every right to be in shock and or demand just protection and to leave the stage as quickly as possible. And what does Donald Trump do? Your, your jaw is about to hit the floor. Here we go. Something that would be not a gun as we understand it, also be capable of sustaining an injury. I mean, certainly causing panic here. Certainly could cause panic. I mean, look, look, likely in light of the wounds and in light of um, apparently it was some smoke Trump. spotted that it almost certainly seems to be a fire a firearm. I'm going to mute this clip because what they're saying doesn't matter. Watch Trump. Look at Trump. This is Trump raising his fist in the air saying, keep fighting. Keep fighting, he says. Trump breaks out of his Secret Service protective bubble. He breaks out of the human phalanx that he's currently in and he jams his fist in the air and he says, keep fighting in what is without question. I am telling you right now, history. You are witnessing history live. This is history live, 100% in the making. You are witnessing right now in this moment, Donald Trump, fist in the air, shouting defiantly, keep fighting. To the best of our abilities, that's what we believe Donald Trump was shouting in that moment. Keep fighting. This is now and will perhaps forever, forever more, will be the most iconic photo in the history of American politics. There is no more iconic photograph in the history of American politics than this, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. You, you they, 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 will, they will. Trump's mugshot and other images of Trump. Trump entering North Korea comes to mind. Donald Trump doing a, a number of historic things whilst president and also while running. Uh, Donald Trump's mugshot, obviously very, very popular. Uh, they'll they'll put this on Rushmore. They'll put this on Mount Rushmore. This will be what they carve into mountainsides. Mark my words. Here is another one, ladies and gentlemen. A defiant Donald Trump, fist in the air, breaking out. Please understand what has just happened here. Donald Trump has broken out of his protective Secret Service bubble where he is supposed to just be a good little boy and put his head down because he was just shot in the face. You can see the blood on his face. And instead, Donald Trump bursts forth and raises his fist in the air defiantly, declaring that he will not back down. Um, there are, there, I'm, I have chills. I am at a loss for words, not a place that I often find myself. I am at a loss for words. Another image of this happening live. Here, you can hear him. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a breaking news environment. We can hear what the president says here. Let's listen. Look at him go. Look at him go. Here it is. There it is. The iconic moment that will live forever. You are witnessing history. You are right now witnessing history. This clip. We're going we're gonna to play this clip 20 times in a row. Here we go. Donald Trump says, wait. Let's break this clip down. Let's do the autopsy. Let's, let's break this clip down. Donald Trump says, wait. He demands that the Secret Service allow him to say something to the America first, to MAGA, to the entire world breathlessly watching, and Donald Trump says, keep fighting. To the best of my ability, Donald Trump says, keep fighting. Producers, let me know if you see something different. What does Trump say here? Fight. He says, fight. Fight. Donald Trump says, keep fighting. What a legend. What a legend. This man. This man, this is the toughest son of a bitch that ever lived. Look at this man. Look at this man. Look at this man. 
I have consulted with a medical expert who's a medical expert in trauma. I want to talk to you about what we know because the best that we have right now is that clearly something pierced Donald Trump's skin and he is bleeding. Uh, a ballistic of some type pierced Donald Trump's skin. And I've already covered how, never say never, but I've gone to hundreds of Trump events. I've been the man who ushered Donald Trump on stage. I have been on stage at Trump events. I've been backstage at Trump events. I've been in the front row at Trump events and I've flown a Trump tr on Trump's plane to Trump events. I've also simply just been an audience member out, uh, out just hanging because the MAGA rallies are incredible. How you would get a firearm a license, how you get a firearm, as you and I understand it, into this event of any size or caliber is gobstopping to me. It is breathtaking. I do not know how you would do it. I don't know. Some ballistics struck Donald Trump. Now, here's what I spoke. I spoke with a, tra a trauma expert, a trauma one unit expert, and they said the real issue here that Donald Trump is going to be, this looks like it is not life-threatening, but what is really problematic are potential brain bleeds. The concussion of bullets can be as damaging as bullets themselves. Uh, the concussion effects, the hemorrhaging effects, and the uh, the brain, the, the potential for a brain bleed or some type of damage because of the con because of the impact, the impact of can the 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 expert I spoke with, the medical expert I spoke with that deals with trauma every single day, uh, described something the impact of a bullet being like jumping off your roof, the roof of your house, and hitting your head on the ground. It some it's you know something slams into your head. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we are uh, witnessing right now. With that, ladies and gentlemen, um, a quick thought on this. Uh, politics is a game of life and death. Presidents need can have the power to order men to war. They have the power to make your lives miserable. They have the power to make your 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 children destitute. Uh, the the decisions inside of politics uh, that are made by politicians can affect all of us, and that is why it is so incredibly important. This is why I don't I don't know I don't live too far away from Tampa Bay Buccaneer Stadium. I don't know who the quarterback is for the Bucks. I don't care. to our channel. But more importantly here, <clears throat> uh, because of the stakes, because the stakes are so incredibly high, you need to be sure that you are voting for someone and you are selecting somebody for office who is willing to die for what they believe in. Would you be willing to die for your family? Yes, of course you would, because you're a moral person. You care about your children. You care about your uh your your wife, your kids, your mother, your father, you would be willing to die for your family. Well, if you're electing a leader, they are the head of this na national household. That person should be willing to die for this country. And Donald Trump just proved that he is willing to die for this country, to die for what he believes in, and that he's running for office. <laughs> Joe Biden, Barack Obama, they needed the office of the presidency. Donald Trump didn't and doesn't. Donald Trump's a billionaire that could buy his own island anywhere he wanted to and live forever in a lap of luxury, private jets, champagne, caviar, lug like in not a single care in the world. Donald Trump didn't need this, but we needed Donald Trump. We needed Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't need us, didn't need, didn't need this nation, didn't need this office, right? Needed this nation, but didn't need this office, didn't need to do this. 
uh, this alone, the fact that this man is willing to die and, and, and is so triumphant in the face of death for his beliefs, this alone should be enough to win all 50 states for President Trump. I predict a 50-state landslide. I predict more scandals. I predict that the, and we've been pretty good on predictions, actually, over the past couple of months. We've, been, we've seen pretty much all of them come true. And I just played you Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson clips from our show uh, predicting what we just saw today, the assassination of President Trump. I predict that there is going to be a scandal that spins wildly out of control for the Department of Homeland Security, stripping funding from Donald Trump's Secret Service. I'm seeing that. I am seeing those sabers rattle all across my social feed. I think this is going to be a massive scandal, the assassination and the death of their primary political opponent. I think we're going to see Donald Trump poll numbers skyrocket, and I think we're going to see uh, a world remade, and we're going to see this nation saved. There's a different, there's a change in the vibe, the energy change. You can feel it, man. You can feel it. Are you alive? Do you have a soul? If you're alive and you have a soul, you felt the spiritual energy change in this in this nation. And so join me, join our team in doing what we must do to save our family, which is to elect somebody who's willing to die for us. This man is willing to die for us. We have speculated that before on this program, and now we know, as a matter of fact, that President Trump is willing to die for us. The least that we can do is show up and cast a vote for him and bring our family and bring our friends uh, to make sure that we have somebody who's willing to protect us, who's willing to die for what he believes in, in office. And why is that important? It's important because politics is a game of life and death. And I don't care how old you are. I'm, you know, I'm in my mid thirties and I've lived through my, most of my life. America has been at war and sending men like me to war. It's a matter of life and death. I don't care how old you are. You, you know, this, you know, this. And so ladies and gentlemen, um, elect the man who's willing to die for what he believes in. Elect the man who's willing to die for us. That uh, should be enough. And I'll begin the petition today to make this image carved into the mountainside of Mount Rushmore. That's my final bold prediction. This is going to be, this is going to be, this is going to be the Mount Rushmore imagery and iconography for Donald Trump. Many questions that we cannot answer right now. President Trump is safe. <laughs>